Hey YouTube, this is TMS Poop Deck. Just gonna do a quick, uh, like a vase or a wine glass making tutorial. So basically, get rid of your cube and make sure little 3D selection things in the middle. And you're gonna want to add a circle. Go into edit mode and start extruding. E for extrude, and Z to constrain to the Z axis. Scale it down, do another extrude. Scale it down some more. I'm going to try to make this fairly detailed so the subsurf turns out well. And that should be probably enough to leave the rest to subsurf. I'll just do one more. Scale it down. And then I can start my stem. Bring it up to about there. And then I can extrude a little more. And start scaling it out for the mouth of the glass. This one actually looks like it's going to turn out pretty well. Alright. As you can see, it looks kind of blocky and weird. So we're just going to go into the modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface. I have a fairly good computer here, so I'm going to set view to 3. You can see we have a pretty well smoothed out wine glass. Set the render all the way up. I'm going to go back into edit mode and just for the sake of having it look a little bit better, zoom in here and try to make this bottom a little bit smaller. And I need to turn that off. I hate this rotation method, but whatever. Let's see if I can get this selected properly. Okay, that should be good. I'll just scale that down a little bit. Maybe a little more on the Z axis. Alright, let's see how that looks. Alright, it's a little better. Not really anything professional, and I have not yet figured out how to put something in the middle, but then you can go ahead and just add a texture of some kind. I'm just going to pull up an image I made. Right. Alright, kind of like a rainbow type thing just see what we can get here. Even with a good computer, it still renders fairly slowly. I should probably be doing this on Linux, but I don't have any good screen recording software for Linux yet.
subdivisions built down to like four. Should be a bit faster. There we go. And it didn't apply my texture and the camera's not looking at it. But as you can see, it's fairly smooth there. Even without the full settings. So I'm just going to set the 3D selection to just about in the center of the vase there. I'm going to add empty and then I'm going to do a constraint of the camera and my new empty control T to get this track to constraint and now whenever I move whenever I move the empty the camera will look at it so I'll pull back the camera a bit see if I can get a slightly more zoomed out angle and render this again it's a bit better the shadowing is a little bit weird we'll have to fix that later let me see if I can get the texture to actually apply Not completely sure what I should be doing here. But can't really hurt. Eh. Well, there's your basic base. Fairly smooth. I'll just do one more render of it with the full Catmull Clark uh, subsurf. So you can see the end result. Man, that is a slow render. Oh, here we go. Getting something there. As you can see there, we have a fully realized, shiny, opaque, like, grayish-white cup with extreme shadows. So, rate, comment, subscribe or even just come back and watch another video. Probably in a couple of weeks I'll have a new one. Another one about Blender. Hopefully I'll be able to get the textures working that time. I'll have to fiddle around with that a little bit before I make my next video. But thanks for watching.